easy here bringing another fly time video for you on a pattern I've had some questions about recently it's the easy chronomid it's using a technique I've been uh, working on uh, using a single pheasant tail fiber wrapping up through some wet UV and tying off uh, I'm going to share it with you today hopefully you enjoy it we've got some simple things happening here the hook we're using is a NH9 size 18 by lightning strike really like these hooks uh, gonna be using some parapost fiber uh, you could really use anything Antron anything you like this happens just to be what I'm gonna be using uh, gonna be using of course the nano silk Simperfly brick beige uh, favorite stuff to tie with always using the nano silk and of course the glass bead uh, that could be again your choice um, I'm using some check glass beads here I just happened to pick up uh, I really like the color and went with that all right let's get started so I already have the bead on the hook here I'm gonna start in front of the bead I'm gonna lay down a few thread wraps and uh, cut away our tag end I'm gonna lay our pair post on top here in front of the bead this is gonna be our gills this is a nice springtime pattern, perfect for right now. Um, small lakes, ponds, anywhere where fish are eating coronamids. Again, it's a simple pattern, kind of the way I like to tie them. Push that bead right over the front there and go ahead and leave your, leave your gills for now. We can reattach our thread behind the bead. And again, it's a simple pattern. We're just going to make a small thread taper. I use this same technique on a, another fly that I've had posted on Instagram called the Easy Midge. Um, I had some questions about that as well, but I figured I'd share this one with you first, being that it's the same, same process. I'm going to give my thread a counter spin there to flatten it out and continue to work on this small taper with this. Coronamid, 18 knot thread. You don't really build a lot of bulk, but that's uh, that's okay. It gives us the color that I really like. We're gonna go ahead and take it down toward the bend of the hook and we'll come up one more time. This brick beige really gives a nice color to these coronamids. Um, it gives it that kind of steel looking color, the reflective of a hatching midge. And take it down toward the bend. All right, you want your thread to be nice and flat here. We're gonna go ahead and tie in two single pheasant tail plumes. Already kind of got prepared here for you. I'm gonna cut off the brittle ends. I'm going to tie these in here at the very end. Now one of them is going to be used for insurance. Hopefully I won't have to use it, but you'll see what I'm talking about here in just a minute. We're going to go ahead and bring our thread right back up to the top. We're going to use a couple of Sharpies here to color our coronamid. You can do this any color you choose. This just happens to be what I have had some success with. I like red toward the front. And I like it to get a little darker as it goes toward the toward the bead. What we're going to do next is we're going to use some Deer Creek Diamond Fine UV resin. We're going to place a small drop just on top of the of the hook there really makes that color pop. We're gonna spread it around with our bodkin. You don't really wanna use a lot. This is a, a fun technique. It really makes your flies durable. Um, I encourage you to mess around with it a little bit, see what you think. You don't really want a lot of this UV resin on there, just enough to hold your fly together. 
So now we're going to go ahead and take these pheasant tail fibers. I'm going to go ahead and separate them here so I can get a hold of them. Again, one of them is for insurance and the other one's to be tied in. With open spiraling wraps, you're going to wrap this through that uncured UV resin. And it may take a little time, it may take a little practice at first, but take your time. This is a this is a pattern that can you can really fill up your box with quick. It's actually pretty quick to tie. It can be a lot of fun. We're going to go ahead and capture that. And once we capture that, we're going to go ahead and blast it with our UV light. This now makes this fly pretty much bulletproof. Um, I had some questions on how durable this pattern was. Well, now that the UV is locked in that pheasant fiber, it's not going to come up come apart. It also gives you that kind of gas bubble effect on these flies <clears throat> that they look as they're hatching, which is also a neat little effect. Then you can go ahead and just pop your other pheasant tail plume off and use that one for the next fly. Then we're going to go ahead and whip finish. I'm going to leave that there. I'm just going to go ahead and tie this in. Pretty simple. Cut that off. We can now bust away our pheasant tail plume. Clean up the head here. And you have yourself an easy coronamid. Great pattern. Go out and fish it. Use this technique on other flies, betis, um, midges, coronamids. It's a lot of fun. Go fish it. Thanks for watching.